Okay, so these are the craft beers I've got that have been delivered that I've still got to drink. So we'll pan around. That's a Flipside Australian Hazy IPA from Five Barrel Brewery. These, are, these next five cans are from the Gab's Can Design Awards. From Black Flag Brewery, we've got the Kick-Ons Chiggy's Midi. Great design. From the Ether Brewing, we have the El Jefe, which is a Mexican lager. From Sidewinder, we have the Hazy Pale, super ultra low alcohol. I think that was 1%. Pretty cool can, like 70s design. From Temple Brewing Company, we have the Last Tram to Brunswick, which is a DDH NEIPA, which is a North England, Northern, Northern English IPA. 6.8%, cool can again. And I just received today from Moondog Brewing, there's a collection of six mixed uh, so the first one there is the Moondog Cherry Sour Ale, four and a half. Next to that is the Old Mate Pale Ale, four and a half. Then they've got the Lemon Haze, Lemon Hazy XPA, five percent. And then we have the Yuzu Greatest Hits Rice Lager, coming in at five percent as well. Uh, we've got the lager, four and a half percent. Then we have the Going Steady Extra Pale Ale. It's a mid strength. And then I've got from the Bedspoke Brewing Company Crankshaft Cranking IPA from Canberra. We're looking forward to having that one. Uh, Mountain Culture Status Quo Pale Ale, 5.2%, up in beautiful Katoomba. Then from the Bridge Road Brewers, we have the Fat Man Red Soup Big Sack, sorry. There's Santa, these are the Christmas beers. Got the magical Christmas pavlova unicorn. It's a festive dessert beer. And then from Sailor's Grey Brewery, we have the magic pudding. It's a bit hard to see that can because it's all silver. But we'll just flip it around because it's a pretty cool can. Sailor's Grey Brewery. I think that's what I said. And then from the Black Hops Brewery, we got the Eggnog Stout. Can't wait for that. Yeah, we have from Hop Nation. We got the Dam Pilsener. 4.8. In Hops We Trust. And then from the I was thinking they're the Keiju Brewery. They got a tropical pale ale. So that's all the uh, cans I have to drink between now and Christmas. There's a bit, bit there. So these will all be reviewed, so there's plenty of beers for reviewing, so until then, as usual, send it.